Are you wasting your curing salts on your sausages? That's exactly what we're here to find out. Welcome everyone, my name is Eric with Two Guys in a Cooler. And although we do a lot of stuff here on this channel, one thing I do like to focus on is sausage making and meat preservation, where we not only show you the how, but we explain to you the why. And I think today's video is gonna be quite eye-opening. Let's get into it. The topic of using curing salts is huge. So for today's video, we're just gonna narrow the scope to the use of cure number one when it comes to making sausages. Cure number one is also known as Instacure number one. You might've seen it as Prog powder number one. It's also known as the short cure. Basically, it contains two ingredients, salt or sodium chloride and sodium nitrite. That's with an I, not with an A. There's basically three reasons to add cure number one to your sausage. The first is protection and preservation. Cure number one protects your sausage against harmful pathogens, specifically botulism. So if you plan on placing your sausage in the danger zone for more than two hours, and the danger zone is anything above 40 Fahrenheit and below 140 Fahrenheit, right? So if your sausage is gonna hang out in that temperature zone, let's say you're cold smoking or doing a long, low and slow that's gonna take seven or eight hours to finish cooking, cure number one protects your meat from any kind of harmful bacteria. It also preserves your meat. So a sausage with cure number one in it, in the refrigerator, can last anywhere from three to four weeks. Another reason to use cure number one is color retention. When you use cure number one inside your sausages, it helps retain that beautiful pink color that fresh meat has, which is very appealing to the eye. And the last reason is flavor enhancement. When you use cure number one, it elevates the taste and gives it a slight hammy flavor, which a lot of people like. Now let's talk about one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to using cure number one in your sausage. Earlier we talked about how cure number one has two main ingredients, salt and sodium nitrite. And many people inaccurately assume that it's the sodium nitrite that's curing their meat. And this is completely wrong. Sodium nitrite in and of itself does nothing for curing meat. And in order for your meat to actually be cured, sodium nitrite, the main ingredient in cure number one, needs to be converted into a gas for it to actually work. Let me explain. The moment that you add curing salts to your meat, a chemical and biological process begins to happen between the bacteria and enzymes that are currently on the meat and the curing salts that you've added. Through these reactions, the nitrites slowly start to get broken down into a gas called nitric oxide. And it's the nitric oxide where all the magic happens. Nitric oxide keeps unwanted bacteria from growing. Nitric oxide keeps the meat nice and pink. And nitric oxide gives you that lovely hammy flavor. This entire process of converting sodium nitrite into the gas nitric oxide is called the curing process. So it's our goal whenever we make sausages with curing salts to get as many nitrites as we can converted into nitric oxide. So here's the million dollar question. How long does it take to properly cure a sausage, right? To get enough nitrites converted into nitric oxide so that my sausage is safe to cook. Well, studies have shown that different proteins, you know, chicken, beef, pork, lamb, venison, they all break down nitrites at different speeds. But the general agreed upon time that you should allow your sausage to cure is 12 to 24 hours. So what that means is that if you're using curing salts in your sausage, and it doesn't matter what kind of sausage you're making, mortadella, hot dog, smoked sausage, it doesn't matter, before you do anything to it, you should let it rest in your refrigerator for anywhere between 12 to 24 hours. If you let your sausages rest in your refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours, 50 to 70% of the original nitrites that you've added will have been converted into nitric oxide gas. Did you catch that? This is so important. I'm gonna say it again. If you let your sausages rest for the appropriate amount of time, 12 to 24 hours in the refrigerator before you cook, up to 70% of the initial nitrites that you've added will have been converted into nitric oxide. That means you get the protection, you get the color, you get the beautiful flavor, and these are all signs of a properly cured sausage. So what happens if you don't let your sausage cure properly before cooking? Well, this is a huge problem that I'm starting to see, unfortunately, a lot of from other content creators on YouTube that make sausages. They'll take the meat, They'll add curing salts to it, pop it into a casing, and toss it onto the grill without giving it that proper 12 to 24 hour curing window. 
This is not a good practice to do, and it's certainly not how you make a cured sausage. So if you're not letting your sausages properly cure before cooking them, I can tell you right now that you are literally wasting your curing salts. You could be potentially making a super dangerous sausage, primarily because it's no longer protected against unwanted pathogens. That benefit is off the table. And that's what happens when you don't properly cure a sausage. But when you go to eat that sausage, you're going to be eating a sausage that has a very high percentage of unconverted nitrites. The point of this video is in essence this. You would never add curing salts to pork belly when making bacon and then cook it immediately. You're always going to give that cure an opportunity to work. The same exact principle goes for sausages. If you plan on making sausages, and you plan on using a curing agent, you have to let that curing agent work in order for the sausage to be properly cured. A rest in the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours is sufficient enough time to let the cure do its job. I wanna end this video with one final thought. There's products on the market that actually speed up the process in which your sausage cures. They're called cure accelerators. If you use a cure accelerator in your sausage recipe, it actually speeds up the conversion process between sodium nitrite and nitric oxide that you no longer have to let it cure in the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours. If you use a cure accelerator, you can begin cooking immediately after stuffing. This is all happening on the same day. Now, this is a great product if you're concerned with time, if you're concerned with space, or if you're just concerned with eating a sausage that might have a lot of unconverted nitrites, a cure accelerator will drastically drop that down. One particular example is one called sodium erythorbate, and we're not gonna get into it today, but if you'd like to see a full video on cure accelerators, how they work, how they benefit you, and whether it's a product that you should be using, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope by now you've got a slightly better idea of how curing salts work when it comes to cured sausage, and hopefully you can take these good practices and implement them in your sausage making journey. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you got something out of this video, give me a great big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell because we've got an entire series of behind the scenes sausage making videos that are designed to help you become a better sausage maker. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.